and it goes for about a month. And then we lose the lead, lose the lead town match against Briscoe and Patterson. Mm. And then it was supposed to be done. That was supposed to be the end of it. And then the ratings came out. Yeah. Let's talk about that. So you're involved okay. with the Stooges, uh, Gerald Briscoe yeah. and Pat Patterson. It goes down on May 10th, 1999. And That's that right. result of that quarter hour is the highest rated segment for a WWF broadcast of all time at that point. And it's the students beating the mean street posse and the loser leaves. First of all, it was a hilarious visual of Pat Anderson <laughs> and Gerald Briscoe. I mean, just an all time segment, right. but when you find out, Hey, not only was it fun, cause I'm sure it was fun, but it was hugely successful. Are you blown away by the rating? Who tells you that information? So we get, here's a cool thing, Conrad. So growing up, my father was a, you know, he was, he was tough love, right? So we never, and he had passed. Um, so he never had said, I knew he was proud of me, but he never told me he was proud of me. Right. So now Vince was a father figure to us growing mm -hmm. up. And then, so the Tuesday, Tuesday, the ratings come out and Rodney and I are at TVs, but we're gone. Right. We're not, we're not there, but they kept us there for the night or whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden we're driving home and I'm driving and Rodney's riding shotgun and the phone rings, his phone rings and it's Shane. And he says, put me on speaker so gas can hear. And he, all of a sudden you're boys, you know, it's Vince. He says, I just want to tell you that the ratings came out. You guys are the number one, I'm the highest rated segment in cable history for wrestling. And then he goes on to talk about Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, all the guys, Stone Cold, Rock, all those guys, and our ratings were the higher in that 15-minute segment Yeah. than them, right? I mean, talk about a holy shit moment, right? Yeah, for sure. So, and you're getting it from Vince. Right. Right? So, I mean, I, dude, I have goosebumps on my arms talking about it. You know, you it's, just, it's an amazing, yeah, you know, I just, and, um, yeah, Vince is no dummy. He he saw it there, so we thought it was over, right? So, you know, the locker room, they were all so good to us when we were there. You know, then we leave. And then, sure enough, about a week later or whatever, Shane calls us back in his office again. But this time, he's got two manila envelopes. Mm. And we're like, what the hell is that? He's like, we want to offer you guys three one-year contracts. And Conrad, I took that fucking contract and I went out and I went down into the garage at Titan Tower and I screamed as loud as I could, man. That was the greatest feeling in the world. 